Okay, well we're back working on the bearings for the uh, generator that will accompany the Bessemer engine. Uh, I've already turned the uh, outer diameter of the new uh, bronze bearing there. Got a 1 and 5 eighths outer diameter here. And I believe this is a 1 and, geez I even forget, this is a 1 and 13, 30 seconds or something like that. I forget, I have it written down, but they match the uh, original uh, bearing right here. So now I've got the boring bar set up and uh, I'm going to take a pass here, working up to one and an eighth or one and 125 thousandths. You can uh, probably hear outside, got the generator running, this uh, lathe is three phase. And I'm running the uh, the old Deutz generator, making my power for it. So I'll go ahead and start it up. Low feed, just taking a 15,000 cut. I decided to put the whole length of bronze in the lathe at one shot just to minimize any cutoffs or waste instead of cutting individual pieces and setting them up in the uh, in the in the chuck there. To just put the whole piece in and use a steady rest so I can part each one off at the end, you know, it'll, just to provide as as little waste as possible because bronze is expensive. <laughs> so I'll let this go and. When I get up to 125,000, uh, or one and an eighth, in the inner diameter, I'll turn you back on and show you how I'm going to cut the uh, oil grooves or the oil channels. All right. Well, sorry for the sudden jump, but uh, got the bearing pretty, pretty close to being completed now. Obviously, the new one here, and this is the original. A um, couple differences. Uh, right off the bat, you know, you'll notice the drastic change in diameter. It's because the shaft is now one and an eighth inches in diameter instead of one and a quarter, which is what the original was. Um, I, I don't think I mentioned before, but um, this surface here is the uh, the thrust bearing surface uh, for the unit, so that's why it's 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 a wider. It's on a flange like that. I've made it's obviously taller there by about uh, an eighth of an inch. So I didn't yet measure the um, what actual end, end clearance the rotor is going to need in the housing since I've never had this thing all the way together. So I've left a little bit of meat on there. As I assemble it, if it needs to be, I can take the bearing back out and uh, and face this off a little bit more to remove that uh, that extra material. But I thought I'd just leave it on there now. Um, as far as the oil channels go. I've gone a little bit different. Uh, the original bearing used like these uh, crisscross heli helical cut uh, oil grooves you can see right in there. Not really being able to make them. I'm not sure how they would have done them originally. Um, maybe even by hand or if, they, if not they had some kind of machine to rotate the bearing and to bring a cutter in at the same rate to get that nice uh, cut there. Um, on the, I uh, was able to do on the lathe. Where are, oh, you can see them right there. 
those are my, now my oil channels. Obviously I haven't cut the, the center notch here, but the notch would be right in the center there. Um, and then I've just cut these grooves with the boring bar just by holding the piece stationary and uh, running the lathe carriage in and out, um, you know, progressively backing the cross feed out to allow the cutter to dig into the bearing and then take nice light cuts and kind of scrape away a groove there. Yeah. And then of course there's the oil drain groove. It doesn't look as deep as it really is for some reason. It's about 15 thousandths deep, 20 thousandths deep. I forget exactly what. But it's about the same as what the original was. You can see. I obviously have to drill the drain holes for the oil grooves yet. Um, well, I, I, I said I have to cut the groove. I'll probably take the uh, this piece over to uh, Road King's house and use a little mill to cut a nice channel in there. Drill the hole for the set screw. All that stuff. I'm not sure what this gash here is. What its purpose is. I'll have to look in the bearing housing and see maybe if this drain hole and then something doesn't line up for whatever reason that they had to make that gash so the oil could flow I don't know but so it's that's a good pro that's good progress so it's, it's heck of a lot heavier than the original just because of the extra uh, wall thickness I would guess so uh, I guess uh, I'll give you a little quick shot when the things all put together alright thanks for watching